I had an electric bike come today. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the garage and check it out and see what's in there. All right, so it has a few straps on it. So we're going to have to break it, but not break it too much, just in case I do an unboxing of it. Not sure yet. I saw you got, you got, you got pulled over by Kaiser. Didn't I see you? Yep. I say that all the time. I'm like, yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, it's probably kind of cool. When you're no person, it's cool. What's up, guys, out there on YouTube? It has been a hot minute since I have recorded and rode my e-bike. It's actually been a week, or like six days, almost a week. Um, not for you guys, because I space out my videos every so often. But um, yeah, I just got really sick. So uh, when I got that Beyond Rider shirt, um, I didn't know how breathable it was. So when I went riding at night and going home, it was like the second coldest night it's been in the longest time. And I just got so cold. And by the next morning when I woke up, I was like, holy crap, like I don't feel good. Like I was all backed up. And ever since, you can probably hear it in my voice right now, I'm still sick, but I can't stop putting out the content for you guys, you know? So hopefully you guys are appreciating all this stuff. And let me give you some updates on what's been going on while we do this ride going to work. And um, we did sell the Ride One Up Limited bike. I sold that within, man, I posted it. Someone hit me up within five minutes to buy it. So uh, we got rid of that bike. I do have a bike that's actually coming today, like legit coming today, but I have no idea what it is. Electric Bike Company is supposed to be sending us two models. One is their beauty bike. We're supposed to be like a super cool color. It's gonna have turn signals, working brake lights. We're all this like, cool shit on it right and i'm waiting for that one but they're also going to send us the model a which is the affordable version of their bikes and anyway so we're gonna have two bikes from them haven't got them yet maybe that's the bike that's coming i'm not sure um i know frigo i was supposed to sell that bike a while back i still have it but i think someone's gonna pick it up tomorrow um they were thinking about sending me the f1 pro bike which I saw Shreddy McSkate, I think he was unboxing one. So maybe that's the bike coming, not 100% sure. And then there's another company, I think, uh, is it Lura or Lurka? Lurka? Lyka? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to probably butcher, butcher that name right now because I'm trying to think. I think it's Lurka? I don't know. Um, they sent me... They sent me a message on Instagram and they were seeing if I was available on these certain days because I guess they're going through uh, California and they want to drop off a bike for me to review, but it's not a bike that I get to keep. It's kind of just a bike that I get to review it for a few hours and then they're going to uh, come pick it back up because I think they don't have actual like tons of production models to just give away to people. Um, so I'm going to try to get those days off and hopefully we can uh, work with them. Uh, Electric Bike Company also wants to uh, send me to their headquarters but I did see that Miss Go Electric, I don't know if you guys watch her on YouTube, but she uh, got sent down to the headquarters of uh, the electric bike company facility and stuff and got to check out all their cool stuff over there. And honestly, I feel like they, they're gonna do a way better job than what I can do because I don't have a cameraman, I have a GoPro. I do have a DSLR, but it's not great. Oh man, that's gonna suck. It's going to be a while. And uh, I just don't have anyone to, like, record me, like, whatsoever. So it's probably not going to be the best. So I think she did a very good job on that. And it's very cool to see the inside of their facility and everything that they do over there. So I'm not mad that I wasn't able to make it. I mean, I guess I am a little disappointed because I wish it was me that was able to uh, go down there. But, you know, it is what it is. The one company I really want to work for is... Electra, not Electra, Electra. Oh God, I hope this dog's friendly. Now he's gonna get ran over. This is like the worst intersection. So you guys probably don't know if you guys don't watch every single one of my videos, but someone died here. They got ran over. Like, I'm not kidding, on a bike, so. Definitely want to be careful. I don't know if they're on an electric bike or a regular bike, but still got to be careful in that section. But uh, other than that, um, I did get my PC up and running a few weeks back, and it's been doing good editing footage. 
So if I took a, I think it was a 28 or 29 minute video, it takes my computer roughly nine to 10 minutes to render that 4K video and save it to my computer. So it's been coming in clutch when I had to go back and edit some of the stuff in these videos. So, oh my God, like it's, it's night and day. It's night and day. It's literally like, it, it feels like it doubled my production time. Like it's so awesome. Especially like when you use your computer to edit all this footage like over and over and over. It's so nice. Ooh, look, we got the green. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Feels nice to actually be back on my bike. Feels so weird when you're not on the bike, you know? Oh, another company that hit us up is uh, Canebuilt. They want to send us their memory foam seats. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. But the only bad thing I thought about when I accepted that deal and when they ship it to me, I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, with my 72 volt system with uh, the frame that I have on there, can I even access the bolts to get to the seat? Because if I can't access the bolt to get to the seat, like I think I just screwed myself on possibly having to take my whole entire 72 volt system off. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I really don't know, but I am freaking out because I do not want to take all my turn signal wires off, all that kind of stuff. I just don't want to do it. So I'm very worried, but uh, I'm glad that they're willing to work with us and came, they make some badass stuff. Like that's all I can say. They make some really cool stuff. So uh, I was glad to work with them. Like, hell yes. I'm using the blur boundary seat on my Super 73 right now. And you know what? <sighs> I like how it looks more than how it feels, but I got really used to it. I still wish I had a seat that had a back to it because I'm never gonna have a secondary passenger on the bike. I'm just never going to. And I just feel like I would like to have a little hump in the back so people can't see my crack, just in case, you know, my pants fall down or something, or just a little bit. You know, I don't want no one seeing my butt crack. I don't want air going in there. I just want to have a nice little thing so people can't look at my butt. And I like the, ooh, my brakes done in the front? Holy crap. You guys probably can't hear that, but my brakes are making a lot of noise. But you know, like I just like, it's feeling secure. So like when I, you know, when I'm riding, I know how far I can go all the way back in the seat. But the seat I currently have on the Super 73, you can just slide back as far as you really want to. So it's kind of like, oh man, like where's the very end? I kind of have to put my hand back there and kind of feel like, oh my God, like I'm not even sitting anywhere close to the end. I'm sitting like in the very middle of the seat. So uh, I know this one's not going to be like that. I know one thing I am worried about with the seat other than me having to take my 72 volt system apart maybe is the fact that it looks like it sits very high compared to the one I currently have. It's very thin. This one looks like it's twice as thick and I put those low riser bars on. So I feel like I'm just gonna be like this, like over the bike. <laughs> I'm very worried I'm gonna definitely be sitting over the bike. I don't know. I'm hoping my back, my, <laughs> my back's not gonna hurt or anything like that. So, well, what we'll does that to see? I bet you those firefighter people know me because uh, there's a few cops that come into my store and they know my videos and even that video that I got about 3 million views when uh, my Sirhan got pulled over. I mean, technically I didn't get pulled over. My buddy Vince got pulled over, but I pulled over with him. And uh, yeah, those cops were hella cool. And some of them come in here and say what's up to me. And the cop that was in that video, he seen the video, he liked it. Honestly, it was kind of like a positive video because a lot of people in the comments were like saying good stuff about it. But other than that, I'm trying to think of what else. Like, I know me and my girlfriend have been having some problems lately. And honestly, it's probably been the whole YouTube thing. She hasn't been working and I've been working my ass off. And I honestly feel like I don't do as much YouTube stuff than some of these other YouTubers do. I feel like I'm not doing enough, but she feels like I'm doing too much. And I never have enough time for her. So, and I'm not trying to feel that way, but I'm also trying to, you know, get my subscribers up. I'm trying to get known out there and I'm trying to, you know, be good and stuff. I'm not trying to like compete against anybody or anything like that, but I just want to 
I want to be up there and I want people to know my videos and I want to make good money off of it so I can quit this job that I got to go to that we're going to right now just because I don't know I'm just so tired of doing this job like I really am also I got my clear visor on right now you guys should be able to hear me pretty good because I do have my uh, my visor down just because I'm trying to block most of the wind out so I don't have to deal with it and uh, I thought, I thought that was a fire, but it looks like it's like an industry place. So I'm hoping that's going to come in handy for later. Because at nighttime, I've had a dark tinted blue one, and it's not made for nighttime. It's 70% tint. You can barely see the lines in the road. That's all you can see. So I'd have to have it up all the time. And that's another reason why I kind of got sick of these, uh, this last week. But hey, don't feel sorry for me. I always see people in the comments like, hey, you know, get better. It's all good. Like, I get sick more than a lot more, <laughs> a lot of people out there. I don't know why. Not just because of COVID either. I just, I'm one of those people that just get sick. And wait, what? Wait, hold on. Why did I turn in here? <laughs> I don't honestly know why I turned in here. I just wanted to take this one road to come this way, but I have no idea why we came this way damn it i think it's because i'm so used to coming this way well i guess we'll just uh come out and exit this way i guess i had a little bit extra time so i just feel like i was gonna take this street but i just turned in here for some reason i don't know sometimes when you're riding and talking about stuff you don't really focus on what you're doing you gotta kind of choose either focus on the road or or something else. This lady's not gonna pay attention. Don't ask lady. It's like you can tell like how people like how people are. I knew that lady wasn't gonna pay attention. It's like I was there way before her. Check the camera. Woo! Hopefully you guys like that video that uh, I posted up a little bit, of, uh, like a couple days ago. Uh, speeding through here, doing about 60 something in the bike lane. I mean, technically, it's it's not a big deal. I mean, a lot of people will make it a big deal, but it's like, right now, like, I'm being a bike, right? I mean, I'm being a motorcycle, I guess you could say. All of a sudden, oh my God, I'm in the bike lane doing 50. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is how it is. Uh, I've been going down this way lately, so. There's nothing going on over here. It's just blocked off for no reason. I have no idea. It looks like they're done. They just need to clean this road up with one of those little sweet sweeper things, whatever you call it. And instead of taking this bike path, let's go through this neighborhood. I've never actually cruised through this neighborhood. And it will take us to one of the main streets. So let's see what's over here. See if there's any cool cars. One thing I just realized. Oh, they got a cool steering wheel. It's a blingy steering wheel on that Mercedes. Um, is that I don't have my fog visor on this. Um, the fog cover on the inside on this visor compared to my other one. So it might fog up at night. I'm not sure. Oh, and uh, if you guys aren't new. If, since you guys don't know Fresno too well, and oh, since you guys don't know Fresno too well, the street that I'm on right now, I think is a street that everyone got their uh, wheel stolen. I'm 100% sure this is the same neighborhood. Everyone was getting their like stock wheel stolen off their cars and stuff, which is crazy, right? Like, what kind of world do we live in? We got a cool couple roundabouts and stuff. What's going on here? So far, not seeing anything. Oh, okay, never mind. I take that back. Clean GTI, clean GTI, giving everyone's location out. That's one thing I want to let you guys know too. Uh, the reason why I had to re-upload one of those uh, videos a while back was just because um, my coworker, she doesn't want people knowing where she works at. She doesn't want to like, she didn't mind being on the video, but then she was like, you know, people know where you work and stuff like that. And she said, I don't want people coming in. And I was like, no, I get it. I totally get it. So I deleted it, but I wanted to keep the video up because I spent time on it. So I just took her section out. No problem. It does suck that I think I did promote that video uh, for like 20 bucks or maybe 10 bucks or something. But, you know, just to get a little 
couple extra views on it. I do that every so often. I'll just like promote a video just to kind of bump it up a little bit. Oh my god, these brakes. But it is what it is. I, I like I said, I'm not I'm not mad about it. I just wish like um, people would understand like if I do put people in the video, hopefully from people now on I'm gonna tell them like hey, like I'm posting it up. It might get a million views, it might get a hundred views, I don't know, we'll just find out. Why are people going so slow? I'm doing 33 on a street that's 50 and everyone else does about like 55, 60. Now we're going up to 40, but still. And uh, man, my cameras keep going off in my house. We got some painters over there right now going through and uh, painting our living room. We got rid of a ton of stuff, you know, with the uh, trash pickup day. You guys probably saw in those videos from like a couple weeks ago of all the trash sitting outside. So we're just trying to clean up the house like little by little. So it's just been a mess for the last couple years, but we're really trying to get on it. I want to set up a little gaming room in there and stuff like that since I've been making decent money. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm still worried about taxes though. How does taxes work? When you get free bikes, how does that work? Do I got to claim those free bikes? Do I got to pay tax on them? I don't know. I don't get it. It's Vinny. Hey, how's it going, man? What's up? He said, hey, do you know this guy who's got... <laughs> he was, we were talking, I asked him about his Tesla, right? So uh -huh. I was asking him some questions because I'm thinking of getting an electric, electric car, or, you know? And he said, yeah. He said, you seen the electric bikes? And I said, yeah. He said, my friend's got a lot of electric bikes. He said, yeah, this guy at Clovis? I said, no, but this guy's, you know... <laughs> probably the number one electric bike guy you know? around around here yeah <laughs> what's your site uh it's a mr central driver on youtube check it out yeah i think it's like fifteen thousand subscribers it's not much you know i only started like a year and a half ago we got a video where it's got two million hits on i it. think it's almost at three million yeah yeah i got one video <laughs> with him i have my old motorcycle and he's driving this thing you know what pulled over. you know what freaked me out what? oh wait 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 you got pulled over when you were on the other motorcycle? I was on my motorcycle. He wanted to go riding, and so we went riding. No, I saw you guys. I saw you guys. <laughs> you, got, you got pulled over by Kaiser. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. I yeah. you guys on the vids. Yeah, that's my videos. That. Yeah. <laughs> right on, man. Is this any less stable than uh, an ICE uh, motorcycle? I mean, I've never been on a motorcycle, but, yeah, I mean, it doesn't feel unstable to me. The only thing that feels unstable is when it's very, very windy. This is only like 110 pounds, 120 pounds. So you feel the bike when to go side to side. But if it's a nice day, you go straight 70 miles an hour, nothing. Nice. I mean, you don't want to go like this, but you don't want to do that on any motorcycle. So are they giving you grief when you're on the middle of the road or are you taking the bike lane? I, I use everything. <laughs> if traffic's backed up, I'll get in the bike lane on Herndon. But then as soon as it opens up, I just merge back in the traffic. Uh, yeah. Got to be aware of yourself, I suppose. Yeah. See, that's funny. That guy goes, yeah, I've seen that video with you. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's funny, man, how many people have, like, seen that video. I know, but everybody, well, it's like I'm a miniature celebrity. People go, didn't I see you? Yep. They say that all the time. I'm like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, that's yeah. cool, man. Yeah, it's probably kind of cool. When you're no person, it's cool. Yeah. What is up, people? It is freezing tonight, but honestly, my sweater, my work shirt, my undershirt, and then my actual motorcycle jacket, this feels so much better. The only thing that's cold right now is my feet. I feel like my socks need to go higher. If I could pull up my socks a little bit, be a little bit, all right. That's the only spot I feel air coming through, but I actually feel so much better. Oh, and I can put my visor down. I'm so used to having my visor up the whole time. Holy shit, I forgot. Oh my God, I can see everything with this clear visor. Thank the Lord. It's so funny because that's what this helmet comes with and I just never used it. I bought a blue one right off the back because I didn't want people to see my eyes when I was riding around on a, I guess you could say like legal, unlegal bike, you know? So I just kind of wanted to be like undercover. I wanted to be like Sir Walter where uh, people couldn't tell my face or anything like that. Or what I was looking at. But, um, oh yeah, this is so much better. I get, I need to get my chin piece in here too. There's like a little, uh, a little chin 
strap thing that's, I don't know how to call it, but it also helps block uh, wind come through. The only thing I'm noticing is it's already starting to fog up because I do not have the fog thing on here. So I think I need to keep moving so it doesn't get too foggy. As soon as I stopped right now, it started uh, getting pretty bad. But uh, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? What is going on out there? Oh, that's a cop. I'll tell you guys some things. Let's see if I get pulled over right now. We might. Is that uh, I have a few PlayStations coming. Let me get my mirror so I can see if there's a, a cop coming or not. I don't think he is. Oh, no. He's still going straight. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, so I got a... Uh, this is going to be my third PlayStation in a month. I'm basically... Um, Amazon has like invitations and they have all these different bundles. I think they have like a Modern Warfare bundle, then they have a uh, God of War bundle, the new God of War that came out. All you have to do is sign up for them and then they'll send you an email if you qualify to purchase it and you have 72 hours to buy it. And I qualified for like every single one of them. And also uh, PlayStation Direct also has them too sometimes randomly if you're lucky and you're online and see it at the same time. And sure enough, like, so I sold one within 12 hours of having it at my house, and then I got two more coming. And I'm making, like, an extra 100 bucks on each one of them. I'm not selling them for, like, $800 or anything like that. Um, I'm selling them for $600 and $700, depending if it's a digital or uh, non-digital, the non-disc version. It's just another way to make a little bit of extra money, you know? Hate it or love it, you know, you gotta, you gotta hustle. You gotta be on the grind to make some money. I feel like everyone needs some type of hustle out there in, uh, in the world. I mean, unless you got a good ass job that like pays you so damn good, you went to school for it, like, like congratulations to you. But uh, I'll tell you right now, I didn't go to school. So my job's like, eh. I couldn't tell if the Mercedes was smashing or not, but they're not smashing, they're just, uh, they started going a little fast, but they weren't actually smashing. Because I was going to hit it, even though we were already doing like 40 miles an hour. I apologize for not having my phone up here to see how fast we're going. But I wanted to get like a race going. That would have been sick. Oh, no, he took that pretty fast. Are we going? Are we? Are we seeing who can go around this faster? That would probably be me, sir. My tires aren't warmed up at all, and I am not very good at being a motorcycle. <laughs> I never took the course, but I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing. I definitely need to uh, lube up this chain because holy crap, can I feel a bunch of stuff on it already. It's like feeling like grimy and kind of like stuck a little bit. Oh, now he's smashing. Oh, now he's smashing. He gone. Whatever gas he has in that car, too. I let off. <laughs> I wonder if people think I'm a, a cop or something. I doubt it. But some people, they like, they kind of don't want to do anything stupid when they're in front of someone with one light because you never know. That could technically be a cop behind you so I, I get it like I've done the same thing where I'm like I don't know who's behind me I'm not gonna do anything stupid and then come to find out it's just someone random and look there's a cop uh, there's just a cop in the dirt just roaming around what the heck and you have your highs on sir to barely see everyone goes slow around this intersection and you're on the wrong side of the road dude you're on the wrong side of the road Jesus Christ why do people do that? Look, he's like in half of the lanes at once. Doesn't make any sense. God, man. Bro, this feels so much better being able to talk to you guys with my visor down at night. Like, it's night and day. Once I get this chin strap, it's gonna be a little tiny bit harder to hear me. But God, man, this is gonna save me from getting sick from now on. Because I'm cold, don't get me wrong. I don't even know how cold it is, but you can see the stuff hitting my headlight. Just all the mist and everything like that. It's definitely under 50. It's probably like 40. I would like if you can go. I 
why are we going so goddamn slow? We're seriously doing like 15 miles an hour. And then you just run a stop sign and don't even actually stop. So, okay. Thanks. Oh, this could be a cop coming this way. So let's uh, let's just chill for a second. Okay, we're good. It's just BMW. Never know. Gotta be careful out in the streets. Gotta be careful. And my thing does not work. I need to tighten my mirror again. So I made the mistake of when I put my bike in storage earlier, um, my mirror came loose. So that's great. So I got to deal with that later. But other than that, I've been having a pretty good couple days, you know, some ups and downs, just being sick. But um, other than that, guys, we're still waiting for the aerial rider Kepler. This is this is a funny story. So one of my buddies ordered it and he's from Clovis and he got his within a week because he ordered, I think, the low step and he also got it in a different color. And I got it in the high step gray color, and I guess that's one of the the colors that's like completely out that you can't get right now. And one of my colors and models, since I got the high step, uh, got delayed. I think maybe one or two other ones got delayed. So that kind of really sucks, because I, I keep thinking about you guys. So I bought the bike for you guys. I didn't buy the bike to keep. Like I'm probably just gonna sell it in a couple months. I'll probably do a little bit more videos than I normally do since I actually paid money for it. And I'm still gonna give you my honest opinion if I like it or not, you know, like, just like I do. But I feel like I should have just picked the color that would have came ASAP so then I could have started getting my review out. Because all these other people already have the bike. They're already talking about it, you know, and making reviews. So that makes my video less likely for people to want to click on because they've already seen a bunch of reviews on it, you know what I mean? So I wish I would have ordered something just for you guys, even if I didn't like the color, just to kind of get it. But anyways, look forward to that. And uh, I had an electric bike come today. I don't know, we'll see when we get to the garage and check it out and see what's in there. I'm really curious. Um, I told a person to take some pictures of it and it was just Chinese on the outside of the box. And so, you know how you can translate with your phone once you uh, have a picture sent to you, you take a picture. And I translated it, but it was like hard, hard, wait, it was warehouse and analytics. Another one was hardware something but nothing actually gave me a name of what the bike was. And I don't remember any bike supposedly coming to me. I know I talked to a few bike companies and they said they'll get back to me or okay, sounds good. But then I never heard about them saying, hey, we shipped this item out to you. You should get there in like a week or something. So I'm very curious to see. So when we get to this house right now, uh, we'll, we'll kind of give it a little overlook and uh, I'll probably pop open the box and we'll see what it is. Oh man, living out in the country, man. It's cold, super cold. So for my 14 mile trip, the way, actually no, more than, a little bit more than that for the way I took, maybe 15, uh, 59%. That's like, that's crazy, right? It's just because it's, it's super cold. These batteries aren't operating in the perfect temperature they're supposed to be in. They're under like the best operating temperature and uh, yeah, it just, you know, having all this power, I think I'm at like 18,000 watts or 17,000 watts, somewhere around there. And I'm not light. Every time I hit a light, I'm always on it. So that's the worst thing that brings your battery down. If you were to like speed like this, you'd be all right. But going like this everywhere really kills your battery. All right, so let's go check out this bike real quick. All right, so it has a few straps on it. So we're going to have to break it but not break it too much just in case i do an unboxing of it not sure yet but uh let's get in here and see oh man <laughs> good and bad i guess okay i see something in here hold up hold up i might have an idea now what this is what does this look like i need to see the battery oh my god i need to open it from this side <laughs> Let's see, let's see. I'm destroying this box. I said I didn't want to do it, but my bad. What is this? Ah, 
I can't tell. I really can't tell, guys. Is anything on the outside of the box without uh, giving my address away? I don't see nothing. I don't know, guys. We're going to have to find out um, what it is when we get to it. So subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.